What's going on guys? So before we get into today's video, just want to say that I did get pretty heated in this video because I was really disappointed in the Madden 21 trailer based off what I saw from the breakdown and for why other people are so upset about it. I now fully understand why. Um, and also, 84% of you are not subscribed. If you're new on this channel, please do me a favor, hit that thumbs up like button, or hit that thumbs up button, subscribe, and um, cause that, that would really help me out. Really trying to grow the channel, love what I do super fun uh but anyway so let's hop into the video hope you guys enjoy and let's get into it what's going on guys hope you're are doing well so no uh i wasn't actually gonna post a video today but there's been a lot of backlash on uh the Ma new madden 21 trailer and i know that uh i actually originally thought that the madden 21 trailer was pretty good uh but i'm just gonna break down uh the things that went wrong with this trailer because it has obviously more dislikes than likes and it's 11th on trending on YouTube so that's really bad and uh, just a ton of people are very upset about it so I'm gonna let you guys know my truthful opinion on why people are very upset about it and just to kind of clear things up compared to my initial uh, reveal trailer so obviously we start at the Raiders Stadium you see Joe Burrow, Brady, Tua, Mar Jackson he runs out now he scrambles to the right side Okay, so obviously we have a spin here. It doesn't look too bad. You have uh, Marquise Brown blocking when I don't know why in the world you would block like this. Usually if you're a wide receiver, you want to have them face, you want to face them up forward. You shouldn't be slanted like this. This is probably a legal block in the back. Um, so anyway, he spins out TJ Watt. He then jukes out, somehow he jukes out a linebacker here. And let me just tell you this. If you ever get tackled like this and you're a quarterback in the NFL you're getting tackled you're going down so this doesn't make very much sense to me because he just came out of a spin move he's gonna be tired there's absolutely no way that physics apply when this happens this is completely animation based and the fact that he gets a touchdown off of this play let's just count how many people are here one two three four right nobody else is on the field it's just Lamar Jackson and Keith Brown and these four guys you're telling me that he's going to score a touchdown with four people surrounding him. Not to mention he's breaking up another tackle that's going to slow him down. Interesting. So then he goes forward. So I believe this is number 22. Um, I don't know what in the world he's doing. He should have tackled Lamar Jackson. He looks like this is all Madden 20 right here with the AI just not knowing what they're doing. Anyway, so then you hit see number 79. Where did he come from? He just popped out of nowhere. So he's what he should do is stop number 22 and let Lamar Jackson get in. But that's not what's going to happen. He completely misses the tackle, lets the number 22 tackle Lamar Jackson at the point where Lamar Jackson is diving for the end zone. And look, do you see his knee? His knee doesn't look down. I mean, his knee looks down. But is that is that a touchdown to you? Absolutely not. So... Let's just break this down again. Lamar Jackson breaks two tackles, breaks off of a middle linebacker, then a randomly an offensive lineman comes in, doesn't even block a guy. Lamar Jackson's knee is in the end zone, and I er, his, his knee is down. The ball's not even in the end zone, and I guarantee you that in Madden, they're going to call this as a touchdown. I guarantee it. All right, let's keep going. says all out control ball carrier skill stick so a lot of people i haven't actually heard a lot of people talk about this a lot i'm just going to kind of add in my own opinion about this because if you've played madden 20 or even watched the madden bowl for example you would know that the run game is extremely overpowered it was so overpowered to the point where you could put a punter at, a left-handed punter at quarterback and you could hand off the ball to your running back to abuse the animations to get a quicker uh, release off the ball. Absolutely ridiculous. Now, what does it say when it means ball carrier skill stick? It means that you're going to have more control with the running back. So, why would they do this? If they know that their game from last year was extremely run overpowered, when they had Patrick Mahomes on the cover, which was supposed to make it pass overpowered, why would they add more ball carrier abilities to make it even more overpowered? That doesn't make any sense. All right, let's keep going. 
All right, so you see a couple hurdles, a couple jukes, truck. This all isn't bad, nice animation. Okay, so here, this is what we call a uh, side hurdle. I think they're adding this into Madden 21. It's, I mean, it looks cool. Once again, I don't know how it's going to work in gameplay. I don't know how people are going to use it. I don't even know if people are going to use it. This is pretty much just a useless feature. I don't think anyone asked for better hurdle animations. But we have this now, so great. All right, so it keeps going. Sick one, hurdles. Okay, so you get the first down there. Now, I don't really understand why the back cover feature is we can reach the ball out now by an extra yard. Does that make sense? When you see a Madden, do you think, oh, wow, I want to buy Madden 21 because we can reach the ball out an extra yard with our players? Absolutely not. If anything, this should have been in the game four years ago. And the new cover, or on the back of the cover for the main feature, it should have been franchise mode. Or, like, I, like I'm not a huge ultimate team person, but maybe even ultimate team. Like, give us something. Just something that's, like, more significant than reaching the ball out one yard and calling it a better game. Absolutely does not make sense. Alright, so then you have a couple of jukes there. Uh, catching the ball. He reaches out once again. Russell Wilson made a juke there. There's another guy. He's going to absolutely get leveled here because this guy's going way faster than him if this was physics based. Um, oh, oh, look at that. He spun him out. Isn't that crazy? Boy, I love physics. Anyway, so his knee is down at this point. So this feature doesn't even matter. He reaches for the ball to get the first down, but he's short of the first down already because his knee is down. So, to me, by seeing just these two things with Lamar Jackson and Russell Wilson, I'm starting to think that they implemented a feature that's supposed to be the big thing, quote-unquote, into the game that doesn't even work. Now, obviously, we're going to have to find out. I'm still being kind of optimistic about the game, but seeing this is very frustrating. Very frustrating. All right. Dominant or dominate the edge new pass rush control Okay, EA Let's just do a little situation here. Let's just say that we're in um, EA studio and we're, we're talking about Madden 21. So a guy goes up. He's like um, So what, what kind of ideas do we have here for Madden 21 and the, one of the guys in the uh, meeting room says well You know the Madden 20 had a super uh, overpowered pass rush. Maybe we should do something about that he says, you know what? That's a great idea. What if we make it even more overpowered? How would that make you feel as a person who's played Madden that not only does the offensive line suck, regardless of the overall ratings, but in terms of their awareness and their ability to block. And now we get this. We're going to be able to throw the ball within maybe... Two seconds now, not three, two, two seconds. EA wonders why the pass rush or the why the run was so dominant. Maybe it's because there was no point of passing the ball because we couldn't get it off. If you're expecting Madden 21 to be a little bit more balanced in terms of pass, I don't think so. The pass rush is going to be even worse than last year, based off what they're telling me here. Okay, so you see these couple uh, um, pass rush moves. Strip the ball. Strip the ball. Okay, okay. Now, obviously, I'm not one to rant about this. I, I've i actually, oh, for the most part, enjoyed Madden all the way up until Madden 19, Madden 20. But EA is not helping anything. So not only does Joey Bosa strip the ball, but he then tries to go for it. And, I mean, sure, he's down. Okay, but here's the main concern. Imagine this happening to you three times a game. In franchise mode, ultimate team, even playing now with your friends. This isn't going to be good. There is absolutely no reason why they should be adding new paths. Like, why they should be stripping the ball. And obviously we know it's not going to be balanced, and that's why I'm very concerned, because EA does not balance what they do. They add these new features. And by the way, why isn't this on the back of Madden 21? 
instead of having we can reach the ball out for one more yard why don't they have players can now strip the ball from quarterbacks a little bit better it doesn't make very much sense to me so obviously you know the pass rush moves gets absolutely dominated uh we've seen that animation seen that animation before all these animations have been in here for like three two years now doesn't make very much sense uh okay clutch stops realistic open field tackling now watch this okay so obviously mark ingram mind you this is mark ingram he's rushing forward looks like these guys are falling off everybody has seen if you've played madden 20 even madden 19 you wouldn't know this you would know this animation where the guys slide off and he keeps going now here's the difference between madden 21 and madden 20 and no it's not the graphics because obviously this is just madden 22 .0. the graphics have not improved at all maybe the face scans a little bit but that's about it the difference between madden 20 and madden 21 is that he in Madden 21, this guy right here, I think that's Edmonds. He's going to actually come up and tackle this guy. Madden 20, he wouldn't know what to do. So we see him tackle the guy. And I don't know how this is a clutch stop. Because you see the, I mean, you see the first down marker. But, and I just realized this. Why would you run the ball? Because I'm just guessing this is probably a third and long. And yet you guys decide to run the ball. And feature it making it a realistic clutch tackle you would never run the ball in that situation does not make sense and he still gets yardage off of it all right so obviously he reaches for the touchdown almost you get some double teams and stuff like that we've all seen this this has been Madden for a couple years now Joe Burrow gets uh, sacked he gets popped. Stephon Gilmore. Matt Breida with the double juke. Now, that's actually a good thing about this game. Obviously, you, you could double juke in Madden 20, but it was pretty hard. But they actually, it looks like from what we see here that you can actually double juke efficiently now. So, at least we'll have better movement. All right. So, then we see a couple swats. Okay. This is the one thing that I completely do not understand. We had user-controlled user celebrations. They introduced them to us in Madden 19. Now, I, I, I could be mistaken here, but I do not remember having a game or even a community for Madden that asked for you, more user-controlled celebrations. How in the world does this impact the experience of the game besides making it so now... C.D. Lamb can do the floss when he gets the first down. When I play football, I don't want to make it so C.D. Lamb does the floss when he gets the first down. I want to make it so there's like game-changing features within the game. I want to make it so you can, you can literally change the outcome of the game without getting sucked into animations. And EA has not addressed that in this trailer or in the gridiron notes. So obviously we get some more uh, celebrations stuff. Lamar Jackson spins again. He dives again. That actually looks like a touchdown, finally. Anyway, so that's the Madden 21 trailer. Um, that's my breakdown. I don't know uh, what to say. I was just kind of going off of what other people were saying. And adding my own opinion on it after actually looking at it a little bit further. So, if you want to buy Madden 21, I would I would definitely wait. I would definitely not pre-order it because based off of what we've seen here, looks terrible. Absolutely terrible. Um, we're just getting Madden 22 .0 with more X-Factors that they have not adjusted yet. They might. Um... I'll keep you guys updated on uh, what happens with uh, Madden 21, the news, see if they actually make improvements on the gameplay. But, uh, yeah, I really don't know what to say. It's, this is disgusting. So, if you guys like the video, hit that thumbs up button. Uh, subscribe to my channel for more. Probably won't make another video like this, it's a rant. Um, but, you know, we'll see. We'll see where EA takes us. We all have a great day. I'll see you later.